Welcome back to Power BI Helpline YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to demonstrate how to make your slow Power BI reports and slow DAX queries blazing fast. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for many such interesting solutions in Power BI. With that, let's check it out. We have this data set, which is from Contoso DB, with 10 million rows. We have other tables like product and customers. This is a normal table visual with brand, month, year, and total sales. Total sales expression is pretty simple. We are going to create few new measures. We will check its performance and will replace with best suitable other expression. The first measure is to create number of orders received during each month year in the table visual. First, we will write this expression by filtering the sales table with a filter DAX function. Using Performance Analyzer, we will check how much time it is taking to perform this operations. DAX query itself is taking 397 milliseconds, which is huge for DAX. DAX is supposed to be very efficient and fast, so let's understand why it is slow and make it blazing fast. If you already noticed that, we are using here a filter function over the entire sales table, which is more than 10 million rows, we should mostly ignore applying filter function to fact tables because it will apply the calculation for each row of the table and then it will filter. So let's change this and use a super powerful function which is calculate. Now you see, our DAX query is taking only 51 milliseconds, which was earlier 397 milliseconds. Let's do in another example. In this, we will create a new measure with some conditions on quantity and unit price column. This time we will use calculate function and see the performance.
Okay so this query is also taking over 300 milliseconds. If a DAX query is taking more than around 150 milliseconds then it is considered as slow and should be optimized. So let's look into the expression and check how much we can optimize this. Again, we have applied a filter on sales, but this is required here. But suddenly we notice that, we are applying the conditions on only two columns, so instead of entire sales table, let's ignore filter on quantity in unit price column and see. So we have used here all function over those two columns. This function will ignore the available filters on those columns, which is required for this operation. And here we go, this is called blazing fast, this query is taking just 6 milliseconds. We will do now one last example in this session, which we will do with a function. We are writing a measure, which will calculate the total sales with discount, but when unit price is more than 10, then there is 30% discount otherwise 10% discount. Let's do that. This is taking 293 milliseconds. Let's check and change the expression and replace with calculate. Mastering DAX is important especially when you want to optimize your slow DAX queries and expressions. And even in our last example also, this is reduced near around 50% of the time at least, from 293 milliseconds to 147 milliseconds. And that's all for today's session, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI.